But new research suggests that there is one animal that may have surpassed every other mammal, except us, in language skills. It's a tiny, nearly defenseless rodent, the common prairie dog. The language-like properties of prairie dogs are probably the most sophisticated animal language that has been described to date. Khan Slobodzikov of Northern Arizona University has been decoding prairie dog chirps for 20 years. They can describe the coat color of a coyote. They can describe the size and shape of the coyote. They can describe the speed of travel of the coyote. It's a tonal language system, kind of like Chinese and some of the Native American languages, where changing the tones changes the meaning. Can these simple-looking creatures really be using highly sophisticated communication? There are hints that prairie dogs are surprisingly intelligent. They live in massive communities with underground tunnels that can stretch for miles. Prairie dog towns are kind of like medieval cities, where there are marauders coming in, robbers coming in. And like in a medieval city, there are sentinel animals that are watching for predators. Prairie dogs have many predators to fear, and they respond to each in different ways. Here's a call for a hawk. Usually, it's a single chirp. When the alarm goes up for a hawk, the prairie dog stands bolt upright. This is the call for a coyote. The call for a distant coyote sends them scurrying to the edge of their burrows. And a nearby coyote alarm sends them underground. The calls are crucial to survival. Get the call wrong, and the prairie dogs get eaten. The calls sound similar, but as with Chinese and other tonal languages, tiny differences in tone convey big changes in meaning. With some practice, we can hear the difference after maybe about two or three days. So we hear an alarm call and everybody looks around and says, where's the coyote? Over the years, Slobodzikov and his team compiled a dictionary of prairie dog by simulating different predator attacks and recording the calls. In the lab, the sound waves of individual barks are converted into visual graphics. The call itself is a very complex acoustic waveform, and this is simply a pictorial representation. When these graphics are analyzed by specialized software, the team watch the few calls they recognize explode into an entire prairie dog vocabulary. Some of the calls I call adjective-like calls. Patricia wears a blue jumpsuit, and she goes walking in the prairie dog colony, and the prairie dogs call in response to her wearing the blue jumpsuit. And then she changes into a white jumpsuit, and the prairie dogs call to her in response to the white jumpsuit. The patterns on the screen look the same, but to the trained eye, the subtle variations make all the difference. Here's the call for the blue jumpsuit. It is a typical human call, but there is a trailing edge which denotes the color blue. And here is a white jumpsuit, again, a typical human call, but it's got a buzz on the upper and the lower part. So this part codes for white here, and this part codes for blue here. Khan Slobodzikov is now working to see if prairie dogs are born with their language-like ability, or if they are taught their calls, like humans learning words. If they are, it will be hard to deny that prairie dog is a true animal language.